Good morning, everyone. I am in desperate need of a reset, so I'm gonna take you along with me. If you're confused why sometimes in my videos there's this like smoke machine in the background, it's a humidifier. <laughs> it's very dry here during the winter. I feel like just looking at me, you can tell that I really need a reset. Last week just did not go to plan. It did not go how I wanted to. I just wasn't sleeping well and I had an ear infection, which I still kind of have, but it's not quite as bad, but I couldn't hear out of my right ear and it was very painful. And yeah, it's just, there was a lot happening. So my routines and the things that I usually do that have really been like lifting me up and allowing me to be really successful this past year so far, they just kind of fell to the wayside and I was okay with that. I was kind of like just doing what I could, but now that I am feeling better, I want to get myself like started off on the right foot and give myself the best opportunity really to feel good because I feel like even though I'm kind of feeling mentally a bit better, I haven't really been able to take advantage of that like I would like to because the house is still kind of messy from when I was not feeling great. And it's definitely been way worse than this, but it still is not exactly ideal. So that's the deal for today. I need to really figure out what I'm doing because I always usually plan my week on Sundays, but I just did not end up doing that this past Sunday. So I need to get on that. That's definitely a priority. I just need some clarity because right now I'm feeling like things are a little bit muddy and I need like the sunshiny clarity. <laughs> I am definitely craving that. I don't like when I have like not great days. I'll call them bad days, but I don't like when I have bad days, especially now. Obviously no one likes bad days, but I feel like they just hurt so much more now when for the most part I've been doing really well. Anytime I have a bad day, I'm like, ugh, like it throws me off my game, throws me off my momentum, and it just makes recovering from it kind of hard because I've just been in such a good space that it's then like, what am I supposed to do with this? But we're gonna get through it. So this is day one. I'm not sure how many days this will take. Ideally one, that would be great. But first things first, before I actually get into work, I need to get dressed. I do not want to get dressed this morning. Every fiber of my being is saying, no, I want to just stay in my comfy clothes and pajamas. But I know that that starts me off on the right foot. So we're gonna get dressed. <laughs> This is definitely my like uniform, if you will, for those days when I don't wanna really get dressed. It's still like pajama-esque, but it's not my pajamas that I slept in, so that's good. So now I am going to think about what is kind of bugging me the most and go from there. I know for sure, because I have some time before I dive into work, I know for sure that I want to get this area clean. It's like kind of, the main area that is bugging me. So it looks a lot worse than it is. Like this is the basket of things that need to go upstairs. I just haven't emptied it in a very long time. So once I bring this upstairs, that will be good. And then just like emptying the dishwasher and getting all those things done. It's honestly just little things that I have not been keeping up with this week. So let's get going. <laughs> It's 
the next day, I did end up getting caught up with work and didn't end up vlogging anymore yesterday. And also my fiance came home early and then we just had a fun time spending the night together. So it was a really nice, just relaxing night, but I did a pretty good job yesterday of getting like caught up and actually reset. I'm just putting a oily nail trition on my nails right now. Uh, but I still have been struggling with my focus today. Um, and I think like, cause obviously when I have bad days, I'm trying to like think of, okay, why is it maybe a bad day? Like, why am I kind of struggling more today? Uh, but I think it's because of my medication and trying to figure that out. So I actually have my appointment on Thursday for that. So I am looking forward to that and hopefully it will be able to kind of help me out. But yeah, it definitely is much more frustrating. And like, I feel like the bad days hit so much harder when I've been doing so well and feeling so good lately. So then when that kind of changes, it just feels so much more like discouraging and like, ugh, like I wish I could kind of snap myself out of it. But I know realistically that's kind of not the way that things work, but it is what it is. Today just has not been that good for focus so far. But I mean, there still is like more than half the day to go. So I'm not going to count myself out yet. But yesterday I did finish with tidying up upstairs, tidying up the main floor and everything. I did laundry, so I'm really happy with that. And I made dinner and making dinner has been such a thing for me lately. I don't know why, but I love cooking. I love trying new recipes, but lately it's just been like the end of the day. And even when I meal prep and have all the ingredients prepped, I've just been like, I just don't want to do it. So I've been trying to kind of fix that and then have a certain time when I will just start making dinner no matter what, no matter if I'm hungry or not. But I think actually part of it is because my medication has been making me not very hungry. So I've been just not really wanting to cook. I don't know. It's just kind of been a bit of a mess uh, and it just feels so much more messy and so much more frustrating when I'm coming off of such a high. But it is what it is. Like, I have gotten up four videos every week for the past two weeks and I knew I was kind of looking at that and like I was like, okay, four videos is really awesome and I would love to do that. But in order to be able to do that, I think I need to have a time period where I'm posting two to three so then I can kind of get myself caught up on things and then it's not like I am filming and then editing in too short of a time period. I don't really know how to explain it, but basically I'm not quite there yet. So I wanted to take a step back and go down to that. But then last week I wasn't feeling well because my ear infection, so I didn't film anything. And then this week I just haven't really filmed anything either. So it's just been kind of a little bit of a mess. And I would really like to sort out that schedule and figure out a better way that I can kind of handle all the things that are on my plate, essentially. I had a point with that. I don't remember what it is, but I can't help but be like a little bit disappointed that I am not sticking to that schedule. Like I only have one video filmed right now that I can post. So I'm like, where am I gonna find two others? I don't really have my, like I didn't end up planning the rest of my week yesterday, which I think is why I'm feeling so scattered because I don't have that kind of plan or outline for the week, I'm like, oh, I don't really know what I'm doing from day to day. And when I stop using my planner is when I fall off of my routines and then in turn, I kind of, everything goes up in the air. So I think maybe that is what I need to take some time to really dedicate myself to now is taking that time to like put away distractions and just really focus on actually like getting that plan in place so then I can feel good and kind of know where I'm going because I feel like a boat without a rudder right now and that doesn't feel very good. So that's what I'm gonna do. Look how cute and cozy Charlie looks. He's so cozy. Oh, it's such a cozy boy. Hello guys. It is indeed quite a few days later. In fact, I don't know when I was last filming this little like reset with me thing uh but it has been truly 
a journey, okay? I am pretty sure I mentioned this in this video. I can't quite remember, but I'm sorry if I am repeating myself, but essentially for my ADHD medication, we're trying to figure it out and we were trying a new dosage and the dosage was too high. And when that happens, it is just not good, uh, not fun. So I was just getting really overstimulated by everything and I'm still kind of coming down from that, but just I was having like major, major sensory issues and just hyper focusing on literally everything, like including things that I usually wouldn't hyper focus on. I don't know. It just was making it really hard to even reset or stick with my routine. So for a couple weeks now, I have kind of fallen off the wagon, but we are getting back to it. It is Monday. I have the day off today, so I really want to take advantage of that and do the best that I can to get back to a place where I'm feeling more comfortable and like I have my shit together again. So the state of the house isn't too, too bad, but it definitely can use a little bit of a tidy again. I actually have just been working on some watercolor. So I took a little watercolor class. I started one on Skillshare, which I have been really enjoying. So I did that for a little bit this morning. I did groceries and I need to put groceries away and do my meal prep and then just tidy up the rest of the house. So we definitely have a jam-packed to-do list today, but in addition to kind of taking care of all of these things, I do want to take some time obviously for myself and not just be like a productivity machine because that is, that's just not what I'm here for. So that being said, I feel like I need to kind of come up with a plan of attack and have more of like a structured schedule, if you will, for what I'm going to do because there are so many different things that I'm wanting to do today. I'm going to do kind of like a rough time block. Actually time blocking like doesn't work for me, but for days like today where there's just a lot going on, I do find it really helpful to do at least something. t-shirt because I was finishing up with doing the basement like organizing it and everything and I ended up being very sweaty because it was really hot down there I don't know why but that is actually going to be a separate video that you guys will see soon but I am going to be planning out my week because it is a Monday like I said but I haven't planned my week yet and if I don't plan my week on a Sunday always just it's a recipe for disaster but before I do that I'm actually going to do a little bit of coloring look at how cute this picture is it looks like the little boys i'm so excited to color this one because it has like i mean it's not technically crochet it's knitting i believe from looking at the needle it's not a hook it's a needle but do you call it a needle i don't actually know if you call it like a needle for knitting knitting seems too complicated for me i'm just going to stick with crocheting. Anyways, I'm going to sit here and color this for a little bit before I get into all my planning and stuff. I've gotten back into coloring on my iPad. I just really enjoy it, but I do also like coloring like physically too. So I've been doing a little bit of that. I might do some of that a little bit later, but right now I'm wanting just kind of like a quick thing. So I'm going to color my iPad for a little bit, watch some YouTube, and then get ready to plan out my week. So I'm getting started off on the right foot. cute it is! I love it so much! So my week is planned, which is really exciting. I've got everything here that I'm going to do and I worked on my little weekly agenda too and I basically know what is happening every day and what I'm needing to do, which is perfect. Honestly, when I do stick to my routine, it just makes such a difference. It's just when I 
like fall out of it, I have a hard time getting back. But I definitely am feeling today a lot more like myself. Like I had just been not doing well, honestly. Like my heart was constantly racing and I just felt extremely anxious. Like it made my anxiety a lot worse. So I'm glad that I am feeling more like myself today and a lot better. So now I'm going to do a little bit more tidying. My goal right now is to get the couple of baskets that I have emptied. So I have this one and then I have one right there, which is just the stuff from the basement. So I'm going to get those baskets emptied, just go around the house, dump it, just like I did last Monday and I'm pretty sure I filmed it. And then I will go back and like actually put the stuff away. And then after that, I need to do the meal prep and finish with putting away the groceries. But I feel like we are doing really well so far. The whole house is clean. I don't have any B-roll for you because honestly, it ends up taking a lot longer when I'm filming it and I just kind of wanted to do it. So just like I said, went, emptied the baskets and then I went back and from top to bottom, just put everything away. And honestly, I like doing it that way because it feels like it just doesn't take as much time. Everything is already in a basket and when I put it in the room, it's all kind of like all the things that need to go away, or at least most of them are consolidated in one spot. So it's just super easy to then go and put everything away. So I'm going to take the dogs out now, and I think I'm actually going to take a little bit of a break before I do the meal prepping because I'm just kind of feeling a little bit tired. <laughs> abrupt transition <laughs> so uh it is once again several days later but i am just closing out today's video and i wanted to chat with you guys for a little bit so i thought about scrapping this video multiple times while i was editing it while i was filming it but it's just because like I, I don't know, I hold myself to a high standard and lately I have just been loving all the content that I've been making because it's motivational, I've been feeling good and blah, 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 blah. But I also want to always remain authentic with you guys. So I still wanted to post this video even though it's bits, bits and pieces because I wasn't doing my best, but I basically just wanted to show like I'm still trying but I'm still treating myself with kindness. Like I am still taking breaks. I am still trying my best and being okay with when I don't meet, like meet the standard that I have for myself. So I feel like with the content that I've been making lately, the biggest thing that I have been trying to do is have that authenticity and I always want to keep that. And I just wanted, like, it's realistic, you know? like a reset doesn't happen in a day like in the beginning of the video i'm literally like hopefully a day but it doesn't happen in a day especially when what's causing me kind of falling off the wagon is not fixed yet but it's not going to be perfect all the time even though like now i am definitely feeling a lot better i am always going to have those times where i fall off my routine and that's okay like i still can get back to the spot where i want to be even though it might maybe look different than when i started so I don't want to look at like those two weeks of this month as a throwaway, like a failure or anything. It was just kind of time that I needed for myself. Like I couldn't do much, you know, like I was doing what I could, but because of the issues with my medication, I couldn't do a lot and that's totally fine. That doesn't mean it was like a waste of time or weeks working toward my goals thrown away. I tried my best and I have like reset. I definitely feel like the house and everything, my mind is definitely clear and I am back to a good spot. But bad days happen bad weeks happen it's totally fine it's what you do with that time and like how you recover from it that really counts but like don't feel bad if you have a bad day because honestly it is it's going to happen even though i'm feeling good now i know there's going to be a time again where i'm going to feel like i was in this past video that you just watched it's just kind of how life works and that's fine like as long as you are kind with yourself and treating yourself with love and respect I don't want to be on like a soapbox. I feel silly saying it, but honestly, like it's true. It's you need to like be kind to yourself and recognize what you're needing and what might be wrong or whatever and do what you are able to do. 
don't try and force yourself to like reinvent the wheel if you're not feeling your best. I hope that made sense. I don't really know. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm actually vlogging again today, so there will be another vlog up soon. I am getting back to like getting my schedule on track for videos. I feel like when I'm talking about that, it might seem like I'm putting a lot of pressure on myself, but honestly, I've just been loving posting videos and making videos again, which is why I want to try and post for a week because I just have so many fun ideas, but I also need to recognize, like I said, treating myself with kindness and when I'm trying to do too much. So it's not that I'm like, I have to get a video out because I'm gonna disappoint people. Like, obviously I don't wanna let people down, but at the same time, it's also because I have so many ideas that I want to keep up with the schedule that I have so then I can do all of those fun videos. But yeah, anyways, I am going to go and film that other video that I'm filming right now. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you did enjoy, even though it was a little bit messy, but I will see you guys in another new video very soon. Bye.